Finally, the wind scoop chimney is the tallest element and will be the last to be finished. Coil after coil, the ecodome grows from the earth on which it is built with few tools and simple materials. As the domes are completed, they become a unity in form and structure, creating maximum space for minimum material. When the structure is completed, then the finishing works of outside waterproofing and stucco is done. Inside plastering and floor slabs can be made with the same stabilized earth material. In these structures, the taste of the occupant will decide the finishes, including doors and windows, designs and painting, contemporary or traditional ways of various regions. With this film and the CalEarth Super Adobe Manual, you should be able to build a structure. These are all part of the teachings at CalEarth and learning theory and hands-on safely in the apprenticeship training. The best way to start is to build a smaller dome first before beginning the main project. And the secret to success is only to practice, practice, practice. Soon the work of plastering exterior and interior finishes will be done with stabilized earth. The outside will be plastered and painted with a waterproof material to protect from rain. Clay, asphalt or manufactured waterproof stuccos and sealants can be used depending on the climate. The dome will be plastered and sculpted to bring all rainwater to the ground, away from the building, into the patio drainage to irrigate the trees. Thus a pile of earth is turned into this small house we call ecodome or moon cocoon. Many have already learned how to build this house and many more have seen the transformation of the earth. We have all learned the message of the great mystic poet Jalaluddin Muhammad Rumi, who says, Kameli gar khak girad zar shavad. Earth turns to gold in the hands of the wise.
there is an abundance of natural light coming through windows in the thick walls which act as thermal mass and good insulation to keep the home cool in summer and warm in winter. Each niche around the main dome has a different function and orientation. In this dome we chose east facing windows in the kitchen and bedroom for plenty of morning light. The windows and doors are standard and are fitted to each opening. The seating and countertops can be sculpted into the dome with stabilized earth such as these cantilevered slabs or the interior furniture can range from conventional traditional to high-tech combinations of computers recessed into earth walls. Even the coils of the dome structure can become the decorative finish for the ceiling and natural non-toxic finishes such as stabilized earth plaster and milk paint complete the structure in harmony with nature. The south sun is used both for light and winter heating while the summer sun from the west is shielded. The wind scoop faces the prevailing cooling winds bringing them into the central dome. Simple earth paint covers the exterior in a golden suede soft finish. Next to the ecodome, the super adobe coils have also built a village of emergency shelters, continuing its private courtyard into a public plaza for social life. Each emergency shelter is built to United Nations standards for one or two people, all the way to a family of five or more. The entire village is built from the earth which is dug from the courtyard, including all the landscaping, where super adobe coils form a small pool with a fountain, as well as seating, planters, and retaining walls. The village and ecodome are created from the universal elements of earth, water, air, and fire. And now, experiencing this sustainable architecture are the children who are the builders of the future.